Hey, Michael Riley. Hi. Welcome to our little surprise live stream from Epcot. We're yeah. in like the border of Norway to China. Oh, look at this. Malfunction. And malfunction. There we go. We're good. We're, We're good. We're like still in Norway, but on the border of to, like China. Right. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. Thank you for jumping in yesterday on our premiere. We were out trick-or-treating and I totally forgot that we had a premiere scheduled. Thank you, Steph. Thank, thanks for joining us. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, what? Some people have some sweatshirts on, but it's not quite that cool in my opinion. That's right, Joy. <laughs> I should have remembered, though. I was prepared for that. Sure. So we're just strolling through. We're over here at China right now. Jillian comes to get bubble tea so much that she knows the workers, so she's just coming to say hello. She's gonna go say hello. Uh, from Epcot again for a little bit of meet up fun with Tanya's that crazy Disney lady um, Disney Parks I don't even know the exact title for her Facebook page but um, anybody that wants to meet up tomorrow that's associated with her Facebook page um, is coming to uh, I think they're going to have some, some prizes and a scavenger hunt and things like that so we'll be here hopefully to cover some of that if not we'll be doing something else Jillian said hi to her people. Very nice, right? <laughs> She's going to be here tomorrow, so I'm going to buy some tea. You're going to buy some tea from her? Yes. You want to go in and look at the Shanghai stuff? As we journey through Epcot's past, we leave you some exciting future. Have you guys the ever taken a look inside the China Pavilion for the uh, Shanghai Disney display? Maybe we'll take a look at that. We'll go in and check it out. It's always pretty interesting to check it out. It's my favorite pavilion, so... It's Jillian's favorite pavilion. The Japan one's my other favorite, but I think I might like this one more a little. If, not sure if you guys have looked back in our blog catalog, but um, right, right over there blog. is where Mulan meets guests. And Jillian had a super, super, super magical moments, moments with Mulan. And you know what? There might be a part three coming. And I think there might be a part three coming for sure. But... Um, we we had two separate incidences. Okay, she wants to listen to the music. When I see ceilings like this, I like to spin the camera. I love this music. It's my favorite kind of music. No, no, we, Joy, we had, we had plans for something else and it kind of fell through when we were close to the area, so Jillian and I felt like walking around for a little bit and jumping on a couple of rides and Jacob and Mom are on the other side of the park just kind of hanging out by the character spot. 
this spot is also very, very special. So kind of just Jillian and me on the stream, at least for now. Yes, this is the spot where she met Mulan and they talked for a while and Mulan put some cherry blossom flowers in her hair. So, really, really cool experience. She went shopping with Mulan. I did everything with her. Mulan bought you a gift in the gift shop. Yeah, she got me one. It was crazy. <laughs> but it's all there in two videos, two parts. What are you doing there? She's posing. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. It's the something dynasty. I studied this in sixth grade. I don't know. You can't remember? I don't remember. I'm too old. Sixth grade was a while ago. Have you guys ever dipped into here and looked at a lot of the Shanghai Disney Resort display? There's a confectionery. This is the confectionery hostess costumes. Laughing, laughing monkey traders. Wait, look, they took off the huge table. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, they did. So, oh. over here, they used to have, like, this huge table, which was a huge, like, map of Shanghai Disney. But they took it out and put this here. So this is the Toy Box Cafe. Again, everything here is from Shanghai, Disney. So nothing that we have here. Yeah, so this is another cast member outfit for the Toy Box Cafe from Toy Story. There's a maquette of Rex. That they used to design this. Look at this. This is interesting. I've never seen that. This is Toy Story Land in Shanghai. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a cool ride. I would do that. Oh, you've never been to Epcot, Steph? Epcot is a totally different vibe. It's like, I just feel so relaxed at Epcot. It's not usually oh God, it's super so crowded. Um, here's a quick shot of I love this. the park. It's kind of a relaxed vibe here at Epcot. You can stroll through the World Showcase and browse it's around. And they're on a ton of rides, but they're not, they're not usually part. super busy on the ride side either. It's my favorite part. But that looks beautiful there. So, so different I love that one. from our park. See, that's yeah, that's fantasy land right there. That's awesome right there. That so that's bad. really cool. Very, very that's different. That's something that I wish we had in America. Oh, look, there's Tron back that's there, the which we'll be getting. Train. Yeah, which we'll be getting, which I is cool. I don't look as cool, but because they have like this huge area for it. They have Treasure Cove here as well. They, that's something that we don't have in America. There's yeah, a there's a difference. lot there that we don't have. It looks so different. And there's a lot of things here that they don't have. I like the part when they showed the shows because it showed like Belle, but like it was so weird seeing her a whole different ethnicity other than French, Chinese, Chinese Belle. Yeah. So Steph's coming for in December. That'll be awesome. Yes, Ooh, your four-year-old would love Magic Kingdom. For sure. He has another outfit from Toys Al Barn. Or Al's Toy Barn, sorry. Where are you checking in from, Steph? This is for the Ratatouille. Well, let's see. Not the ride, but it could be for the ride, maybe. Or it just might be a restaurant or a bakery. For Ratatouille. These models were taken for the Fantasia Carousel. 
Yes, Joy, the Christmas decorations are going up quickly. Um, over at Mouse Gear, they're already, they already have a, a big section of Christmas stuff up and out, which we'll probably show tomorrow if we don't show it tonight. And these are... What are these? Zodiac. These are the Zodiac signs made from Vinylmations. Mine is Pluto back there because I'm dumb. <laughs> South America. Welcome, welcome, Steph. That's awesome. That's awesome. How did you find us? We've been having more and more countries come in and discover us, which it's is really, Ignite really awesome for us. Their show is called Ignite the Dream. Oh, okay. There's the Woody McCat. This, this show here is called Ignite the Dream. Come on now. Why is that doing that? Oh, that dessert party will be fun. We love Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. That's fun. This will be the third year, I think, that they're doing it. Here's the hotel. So we're excited for some Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. I got to start planning that. For when we're going to go see it. I know. Look at that. Look at that whole landscape there. It's crazy. See, look. Look at that. That looks fun. Looks like they have a lot of great shows there. Here's some more models. Yeah, I'm not sure if Jingle Bell, Jingle... I don't think Jingle Bell... What's the date on that, Joy? I, I, I think it's more like the 12th or something, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's sooner. Gotta get up on my dates. Stone Guardians. I don't know what those are for. Used at the entry of Adventure Isle. Here's Adventure Isle in Shanghai. It looks pretty cool. Let's go take a look over here. This display represents the Shanghai Disney Resorts Hotel. King Triton the King Pool. Triton Pool. It's so odd to see a Disney pool inside because they're always outside. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yes, we were up in we were up in um, New York City this summer um, filming a TV show and um, we we happened to take some time to we really wanted to go to that Disney store in Times Square. So I was like, why not make a video of it? Thanks for following us. It's interesting how the different characters in different countries, they dress them differently. These are all models for them to uh, sculpt bigger things from. I wonder if in Shanghai or like Disneyland's all around the world and one Disney, Disney uh, one other Disney World has like things like this, but for America. Yeah. I think we have to make it a point, Joy, to get there then for the whatever that weekend is, the 9th or 10th. And we'll have to uh, check it out because it's always a lot of fun. We were at Hollywood Studios uh, Saturday, last Saturday, and some of the Christmas decorations were already up on the lights. That's cute. I like that poster. You see that Chinese poster? That's a cool poster. Donald is much, much bigger in Shanghai than he is in Orlando. <laughs> You know, you wonder why, but that's what that's the way it is. That's cool. Give another character some love. Yeah, because Donald's this is really Disney popular Town. in Asia. Yeah, maybe it has to do with ducks. I don't know. Ducks are like very good luck. That's Disney Town, which is supposed to be like Disney Springs. Disney Springs. That says Symphony Music Store on Mickey Avenue. Look at that sign. Yeah, Steph, Epcot's interesting. Um, we'll go back out there in a moment. You you can walk from country to country within a couple minutes if you're on a you leisurely stroll. Look at the store real quick. 
Oh, the, the store? Okay, well, well, yeah, we can pop out. We want to show this first. There's a model made that, for Tron. You sit in it and your legs dangle. It's kind of like Dumbo, but your legs dangle. It's called jetpacks. Huh. See, well, that's what you sit in. Here's a model Mickey on one of the Tron coaster uh, bikes. I want this in our um, Tomorrowland. You see, mm -hmm. that's what you sit in. And there's another model right here. Wow. And then this is it. You get to sit with the one other person. It's a two and it looks like that. The final product. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It seems really fun. Especially for Thank you, Steph. Steph said your family is awesome and Jillian is a sweet girl. Thank you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Look at these ears. We love all y'all. I wonder Ooh, if I want that those. looks like something that might light up, like huh? Tron ears? Yeah. Yeah, those are Tron themed ears. Selling them here. Once Tron opens. That would be cool, huh? I don't know. I really like those. Those are a must buy for me. Look, they this have a, a different ride than us. Buzz Lightyear Planet Rescue. What does it do? That's something to look up later. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. It's another shooter game, but it's probably better than ours, because ours is the Magic Kingdom version. Ours is that one's so hard to play. Let's go, uh... Because you don't know which red dot is yours. Yeah. Look at these. Ones. Let's go out to the showcase. I just think that these are really cool. That's the Pirates of the Caribbean one right here. And then this is the Alice in Wonderland maze one. Very elaborate costumes. I really like it. Yeah. I don't know what costumes Let's go. Are Let's go walk some of the sh world showcase. works here is from the country and right now we're on the street of good fortune my favorite street <laughs> and uh yeah sometimes there's little movies about the history of the country there's some more stuff opening up by next year in January, in France, there's going to be the Beauty and the Beast sing-along over there, so we can't wait to check that out. Um, we're, let's see, what else? China is actually getting um, a new movie in the pavilion, and Canada is getting a new movie. And also, over in the land building, there's going to be a new movie there so a lot of new movies coming in january um to epcot so those will be fun to come around and spend the day making a tour looking at all those movies jillian's looking at this big fan i want it <laughs> that's a huge fan that's a huge fan she is a collector of fans i am i have look at this little coin purse Tiny and the tiny squishies, yes. And they have all like these necklaces and jewelry here. With like their name on it. Little name necklaces. They never have my name. That's because your name is more unique. And that makes you special. Steph loves those little coin purses. Yes, they're very, very cute. You even have some of these that are more representing the country, I guess. Very cute. Let's go for a walk. Well, be quick if we go in here. We'll just take a quick peek in here. I want to live here. How much would it cost to live up here? There's like these tiny buildings where nothing's really up there but it makes you feel like you're here in the middle of town I like that it's 
Sometimes they have scavenger hunts. Steph, the scavenger hunts are fun. Um, this actually activates um, and, uh, Perry mission. with the Perry mission. They have Perry the Platypus missions you can go on. And they also have like Easter egg hunts within Mine's the... Right there. Um, they have Easter egg hunts within... Mine's the like, one right there, yeah. the doggo. Within the countries, they have the Easter egg hunt, which is fun. They have a food and wine hunt right now where you have to find Remy, um, the rat, and you cash, you cash, um, you document um, your findings on the map with a sticker, and then you can bring it back for a prize. Yeah. Oh, the cat. <laughs> the cat. Look at this place. If that doesn't make you feel like you're in China, I don't know what would. I like those shirts. Yeah, those shirts are nice, huh? Look, this reminds me of my mom who did the right. combs. $21 for a set, in case you're wondering. I just noticed that these are little fans. Oh yeah. It's very pretty. Very Which I think are very pretty. I really like this one with the bamboo. With the bamboo. I also like that one with the bamboo. That one with the dragon is really cool though. They're like more little places. Well this is like a crossbody type. Oh yeah, so the strap comes out. Chinese toys are very cool. We have these in America, but... Yeah, that's right. You're right, Steph. Jade is supposed to be bought for you. It is. Because it's for beauty. Isn't that what Mulan made you? Um, a jade bracelet. It's very expensive. Mulan actually made her one, so when we met up with Mulan a second time, she had that all ready for Jillian and presented it to her. Ah, you're pretty good with that. <laughs> I am, because I have many at home. Oh, Alright. We have like all these different drinks. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Over here, they make like this big special cotton candy. Asked me if we could return, so we did uh, like a month later. Looks like we're having trouble connecting there for a second, so if you guys didn't hear me, I'll just repeat it. Um, the cast member that was with, with Mulan that night um, contacted me through Instagram and asked if we could come back. And so we weren't able to come back right away, but we came back um, about a month later and Mulan made um, a jade bracelet for her and presented it to her this is here in China. $25,000, it's an incense burner. All jade? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, honey. Let's go out, it's nine o'clock. So we'll head out of this area now and hit the World Showcase a little bit. I will, Steph. Thank you. Thanks so much for um, for hanging out with us and watching the videos. We love that you do and you enjoy. She said goodbye, baby girl. Bye-bye. And um, I'll say hello to the rest of the family for sure. And um, you can re-watch or watch the rest later. Have a wonderful night. So, again, just taking an unplanned stroll through the World Showcase for a little bit. Might go into a few just a little. Yeah. You never know. No, you never Spontaneous know. Spontaneous night.
Oh, and it's not just like necessarily inside the food, but a tea. They have food over there, and then they have like a little taste of what's inside the stores over there. At first Over glance, shows. Joy's always good to back me up on this, or go against me, but at first glance, there's actually some room to move here in the World Showcase at the moment.